Possibly. Certainly. It, it takes a, a certain personality to be able to, to shrug it off because it's a lot. It, it does wear on you. And obviously all the guys on the Maple Leafs know they're on the Maple Leafs and are, are proud of that and want to do as best they can. They're probably trying to do too much than they can actually do. And yes, we're in a traditional hockey market here in Boston. And yes, the Bruins are original six and it's a really big deal. And don't get me wrong. There was a lot of pressure on this team coming into this season. There was a lot of naysayers, especially around here, being very negative. Talk radio here in Boston is ruthless, and it's known for that. It's just it gets put a little bit behind the Patriots and the Red Sox and the Celtics. Like, there's other stuff that matters. Yeah. So instead of four hours straight of Toronto Maple Leaf talk on a show, it's about an hour of the Bruins. It's two hours Patriots and everything else. So it's just not that relentless push for people trying to get stories and make stories and, and that pressure that you feel on a consistent basis. So Cassidy is a coach there who, you know, leaned on the guys pretty hard, I think in a way that maybe was hard for some star players at times, but you know, pretty, uh, pretty good coach by all accounts. Montgomery comes in, you know, what has the change been with his tone and the way that he's taking care of business here uh, versus the previous coach? Yeah, Bruce Cassidy was here six years, which you guys know is an eternity in the NHL. Yeah. It's a long time, and this lineup hasn't had a whole lot. The core's been here the whole time, so there hasn't been a lot of change over there as well. So to hear that voice six years in a row, the same ideas, the same uh, sometimes too honest critique after games, I, I think it just kind of wore on guys. So I think the voice of positivity of – Let's go and make mistakes. It's okay to make mistakes. And guys just hearing that, I think it's energized them a little bit. It's not that Bruce Cassidy was a bad coach. Obviously, he's doing a great job in Las Vegas now. He's, he's a great coach. He knows hockey. He knows how to get guys. I just think it got a little tiring six years hearing about, you know, like it would be we needed one more save after every loss. I, I think that just kind of wears on yeah. guys a little bit at, at this level. And sometimes you want the guy to go to bat for you. And I, I think just at the end of the day, it was just a matter of the course, you know, ran its course here in Boston. Not, not, and they, they've said as much. They, they loved him as a coach, but we needed a different voice. With success, they still made that change. I think the Leafs fired their goalie coach uh, <laughs> last year. Is that the same? Um, but, and Krejci comes back. Now he takes a shot the other night. I, I hope he's doing okay. Uh, but plenty of gas in his tank. But, I mean, I, I don't know. I mean, I don't have to be Columbo to figure out that maybe he got tired of Cassidy's voice and now he's got a new one. He, com he comes back. Is it that simple? Um, I don't think it's that simple. But I think, you, to your point, you don't necessarily have to be Columbo. I have not been told that. I have not heard that from anywhere. Um, but, but certainly – with the COVID being last season a little uncertain, I think it was a good opportunity for him to go back if he ever wanted to. But obviously, if he was completely happy and blown away, no one ever leaves the NHL to go home if they're 100% happy. So, so there might be something there. Um, but at the end of the day, I, I think that it, it's, it's not completely cut and dry on Bruce Cassidy, but certainly we can all you know, deduce that there might have been something there. How's Marshawn looked after having both his oh. hips repaired? Lee got shot out of a cannon yeah. last Thursday night. It was uh, it was impressive, and and we know the hip surgery that it's more a matter of how you recover and how it feels a couple days later. But he did he he gained two steps. His competitiveness is absolutely off the charts. He yeah. did not lose any of that his hockey sense, his ability to come off the wall with the puck every time. It was completely on point, and to come out of a, a, a five-month rehab with two goals and an assist, and boy, was he sniffing for the hat trick. He, he wanted that hat trick <laughs> so bad, like a nine-year-old looking for an empty net at the end of a game. It was, he, was, he wanted it. He was hungry. You love him. You love Bergeron, but there's something about Pasternak that uh, as skilled as he is, there's, a, there's another guy who's got that edge and super competitive. What is it going to take f to get this guy signed on a long-term deal? Oh, it's getting more expensive by the day, isn't it? Uh, it's, it, listen, it, it's, it's about him being happy here, but certainly we all know dollars at the end of the day are very important. And, and 
I think with the salary cap, there's a lot of different ways to structure deals now, and I think that's a lot of talk and negotiation back and forth, signing bonus, et cetera. It's way over my head when it comes to that. But, but to your point, David has taken another step this year through nine games. It feels as though he really talked David Krejci coming back, and he wants to prove to David Krejci that he's going to carry it. He's going to carry this line. All that he learned from Krejci, all that he – he he soaked in being around him in his first five or six years in the NHL. He's trying to pay back that big brother and show big brother all that he's learned and how good he can actually be. That's really what we feel like here around Boston, what David's doing. And to your point, the competitiveness, he, he back to back games, Columbus on Friday night, he was the leader. It, it wasn't Patrice. It wasn't Taylor Hall. It was, David Pasternak going out there first shift, winning battles in the corner, being physical. And, and that's, if he gets to that point, it's, it's real, real tough to take this team out.